Hi, I'm James, and in this video I am fitting a extra memory module and an SSD into this, which is a Acer Aspire 3 laptop. Uh, this particular model is one of the Ryzen base systems, but I would imagine this design is common across the whole range which is using this particular chassis, uh, which is the A315 range. And unusually, uh, this laptop actually has access panels for both these components, so this is one of the easiest laptops I've seen in a long time to upgrade. First of all, uh, this particular model came with 4GB of memory, so we have a single screw here, and we are just going to use, just because it's easier than fingers, plastic spudger, and lift out that panel. We have a little piece of plastic here, and underneath that we can pop out our memory module, we can pop it back down into place, and I have an additional 4 gigs of memory. Uh, this is actually a 2400 module, I have tested it and it works dual channel memory with the 2666 module. Uh, the fastest memory this processor supports is 2400 anyway, so, and that was all it was running at with the 2666 module, it was running at 2400 anyway, so we're going to use that to give us sort of optimal graphics performance by having a dual channel memory configuration. Drop that screw back in. Then we have this second access panel here. Again, there is a handy little corner cut there for lifting the panel out. We have four screws holding the drive in place in its little caddy. So by removing these, and this is so refreshing compared to so many laptops now where you have to take the whole back panel off, um, in some cases it can be quite an arduous task. Um, here we're just going to just lever up the hard drive and then disconnect the SATA connector. And the last thing left to do is we have four screws holding the drive into this caddy. So we are just going to go round. Remove these. Pop out our drive pop in our solid state drive and all that's left now, replace the screws, pop back on the SATA connector and put the panel back on and we are done. Um, so really one of the easiest laptops you are going to find to upgrade. Um, the fact that this machine you know came with four gigs of RAM and um, you know traditional mechanical hard drive would put some people off but it really has good upgrade potential on these two components just because you can get in there even if you find the machine on offer and you want a solid state drive but it ticks all the other boxes it's really no big problem at all to make it what you want it to be if we connect the SATA um, I hope you found this video useful do be sure to hit subscribe if you'd like to see more from us in the future. We are going to be doing some testing with this Ryzen processor, comparing it to the i3 and Intel processor and graphics. And it's a little tricky just getting the hard drive back in. It looks because you've got that there. And yep, yeah, just needs to be pressed in a bit so that it seats properly. But yeah, so if you'd like to see what we're doing testing this processor in games and other applications in the future up against Intel's options, then do be sure to subscribe and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see us comparing it to you. Okay, and thanks for watching.
And there we go.